What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Fame Monster and I am bringing you a video on Daisy. Uh this video is showing you some alpha gameplay and I know that a lot of people aren't playing alpha right now and they kind of want to know what their settings should be at or what is recommended now i run a alienware m17 x r4 laptop and i purchased this thing back in mm, 2012 i want to say and it comes equipped with the 7970m which as of right now is still a very tough competitor to the brand new graphic card uh, that are out right now as far as new laptops are concerned as far as mobile processors mobile GPUs in general are concerned so I am going to show you guys my settings real quick and what I think is best uh, for your Alienware for your M17s for your M18s um, Anything in the line of 7970M, 680M, 770s. Uh, I can't really think of the video line right now. Uh, 890 or 8970M. Uh, sorry, guys, bear with me. I just can't think right now. It's it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm making this video for you guys because I thought it was something that is a little bit overdue, and I wanted to bring this guys to you because I've been playing it for some time, and I know that you guys have some questions on it. And I notice that on YouTube, really no one has any videos on Alienware, so it's time for me to check in and get these views, man. So, anyways. Going back to what is going on here. Thank you for participating in the Daisy Early Access. La 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 la. Yeah, I understand. This is Early Access. This is Alpha. So, settings that I'm going to go over to right now with you guys is what I recommend, what is on this current build, what is uh, what runs nicely on this build. As far as alpha goes I know that when beta comes around I'll probably do another video when the official release comes out obviously everything's gonna be more in line of um, being optimized it's gonna be you know check quality is gonna be good uh, just in general the, the whole game is just gonna look prettier the quality is gonna be on point and stuff like that and they're you know alpha man you're gonna you're gonna see kinks you're gonna see pop-ins you're gonna see fucked up stuff so anyways configuration first thing I do want to point out field of view it is going to increase your field of view obviously you PC gamers know field of view FOV in other words um, it's gonna show a lot more area on your screen so when you have this field of view super high and you feel like looking at the whole world in a panoramic view by all means go ahead and do that if you have a good computer um, me I know my setup is pretty beefy but when you turn this bitch high it eats your frames up pretty drastically so I'm pretty sure any one of you guys run the SLI's uh, crossfires or whatever you guys put this up you guys are gonna see a big hit um, and as far as single card users like me uh, you are gonna see a big hit so kind of watch it it's really on you um, where you see it sometimes I see when I was messing around with it I took anywhere from like 15 frames to 20 frames uh, I like the spot where I'm at right now so I just left it there so Based on that, I'm running 41 frames, top left corner, is going to show that to you guys right now. I'm going to go over my video settings with you. If you're running a low-end setting or low-end system setup, definitely take off VSync. Uh, for you guys that are running extreme setups or 
beefier setups in a way put this on I want to say because I do definitely recommend leaving VSync on uh, if you have a 60 hertz screen <coughs> turn it on it's gonna lock it at 60 frames um, that way it doesn't go over that way your GPU is not stressed that way you get a perfect 60 frames it's locked on there it's not gonna go 65 70 it's not gonna overwork your your graphics card in other words um, it's gonna leave it there it's gonna pretty much do the max output of what your screen can handle um, as well goes for the 120 hertz screen players uh, that want to have it locked at 120 frames same goes for you guys so me obviously I'm not at 60 frames um, even though I run it at 920 by 1080 I'm not at 60 frames there's some points where it is at 60 frames and it does go over but technically you don't really see any benefit from over 60 frames but low end players for some reason if you disable this it will do something in the coding that it'll give you some frames that's just a little tip that I saw in some places there was this guy on a forum that had disabled that that goes for us beefier setup people too if you disable it it gives you extra frames if you're not hitting your 60 frame mark or your 120 frame mark it's gonna give you a little bit extra frame so that was very confusing but um, video memory now my 7970m AMD graphics card has two gigs of RAM so in that case it'll be 20 by 48 and yes I'm right so 20 by 48 so when I put it on 20 of 20 by 48 I tried to leave it there and I took a hit actually um, I took a two frame hit uh, I don't know why obviously I figured the higher you go the more that the game is going to utilize and it'll work out in your favor but obviously it wasn't that case um, so this you may want to experiment with um, just depending on your graphic card you might want to just look out on that so I left it on auto because I thought auto was pretty much just lets the game know what to utilize what is necessary and what's recommended really so I just left it on auto um, texture detail and texture filtering these are really what make the game um, technically these are your ultra settings these are your very high settings uh, that's as far as they go um, these are your max settings for the game these are I'm gonna show you the prettiest trees flowers, grass, whatever you, you guys want to think of in your head, um, it's going to show the detail in here. Now texture filtering, you can put it on, the only one I notice is very high. I would recommend for the guys that just kind of want to gain a frame or two or three, um, you got to, I think the only place that I noticed it was on grass uh, but it's a little tip for you guys that if you guys want to earn a little bit of frames um, the only thing that really changes from very high to high is the grass um, I haven't noticed anything else but don't judge me on that yet or don't tell me uh, I'm right or wrong yet until I don't know I kind of see a video or something saying that you know it does do something else but the grass 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 um, grass is maxed out right now as you can see um, it's has all its it's a grass <laughs> if you put it on if you put it on high it's gonna take a little bit of the grass away and there's really it's not enough to really see um, in open areas and like open fields you're not gonna you're not gonna see it but if for instance like the bottom left corner you'll you'll see it I'm not gonna change it right now because um, my video cuts out for some reason it just it stops when you change some of these settings so it stops recording that I don't want to go back to Sony Vegas and just crunch all these videos together so you got to take my word for it um, it only adds a little bit of detail to the grass um, from its already max setting so you're looking at 
very high 100% grass quality and 95% at very high so and you, you can gain a couple frames there so anyways let's stop talking about grass objects now low and very high this 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 right here you guys is your viewing distance this is um, Arma 2's, Arma 3's view and distance. This is what you see in the world, how far you're going to see in the world. Um, this is this is that. You know, you don't have your um, 1,200,000 to what 3,000 meters or however they want to um, label. You know, the distance in these games, meters, feet, something, whatever. That, this is where it's at so I didn't put it on very high because I didn't really see the need on my graphics card rendering and me taking a frame loss um, to render something super far away that I'm not really gonna really need like why the fuck do I need to see a tree line that's you know 3,000 meters away 3,000 feet away it's just stupid like I'm not gonna snipe that far like really like um so I mean if you're making videos and you want to capture the whole world then by all means put that on there but you know I just I don't see the benefit in it so that's really what objects is terrain terrain is terrain obviously whole world um objects and stuff in there uh, it says on this one it's smooth it's the smoothness um, so I don't know if that's true or not. I really was trying to mess with it, but I didn't really see it. This would probably be a perfect screen, but um, it's smooth as it is, and it's high already. And then again, um, like I'm saying, very high and high, they're pretty much maxed out. Um, if you put it on high, you're on, you're gonna gain about two frames, one frame. It can range anywhere from one to three frames. Let's put it like that. Let's look at as 95 for high and 100 for very high that's how you want to look at it if at least that's how I look at it clouds 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 this one's gonna be a very funny funny one um, I think the developers fucked up on this and I don't know if I'm right or wrong but when you put it on very high it doesn't really show clouds it's debatable um, the sky looks deeper, looks more, I guess, in line of natural. I don't know if that is the correct word. But when you put it on very low, it, it actually shows some damn clouds. It actually looks nicer. It actually looks like you're in um, in a world, really. It's not like a blue sky just above you. It's, it's weird. Just play with it. But there is definitely, definitely, definitely seven frame seven frame loss on this one i could put it on right now i don't I, obviously there's no fucking clouds on this and i've tested this out so you probably won't see it on here you probably will not um see the frame drop because there's no clouds in it you have to kind of look um just a little bit left of his helmets and changed it Oh wow, look, there's no fucking clouds in the sky. And I went from, what was it, 41? 41 to 34. 40, that's fucking 6 frames. 6 frames. 6, 5 frames. You guys be the judge of it. Really. Um, stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's something wrong with clouds, man clouds just fuck around with clouds shadows shadows obviously shadows is shadows in the world I mean everything that's around you is gonna have shadows so um, shadows and objects can be killer so this is what you guys want to watch because um, objects in the world obviously when shadows is on it's gonna put a shadow on it normal is nice uh, because it kind of gives shadow some type of detail um, it's not just a plain outline of a of a shadow like of a tree and then just kind of like a one color flat black 
you I don't know if I'm saying it right, but when you put it on normal, it kind of shows that um, that uh, I totally forgot the word on how to say it, but it uh, shows more depth to the shadow actually looks real so that's why I left it on normal uh, very high and high it starts eating up your frames and there's really no it's not necessary um, so that's why I left that there rendering anti-aliasing and FXAA high now FXAA high and SMAA these two filters go on top of anti-aliasing. It pretty much does what anti-aliasing cannot do. Um, it gives it a extra filter as far as taking away your jaggedness. And it does a very, very good job as far as cleaning up what anti-aliasing can't do. Um, in some cases, it is recommended that uh, you leave these injections on and take off anti-aliasing because in reality anti-aliasing is a more old school way of cleaning up the jagginess and, and, and uh, edge smoothing is a filter anti or anti-aliasing filter that is more refined it's more of a faster way of cleaning up the jagginess a perfect video to watch is um Far Cry 3. There's a video some guy made, I totally forgot his name, but shout out to him. Because he made a video and it's more in line of um, showing you the difference between anti aliasing filtering and these injections. Uh, and, and the difference between them, the frame drops, the frame loss, um, and what's better and what the output is when you have them running separately and if you can actually notice the difference it's 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 uh it's really 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 cool video i gotta show you guys the link on that but anyways i put anti-aliasing on because i usually run anti-aliasing on and i just like running anti-aliasing on but that's there's really nothing really more to say about that smaa to me was supposed to be the clearer one because FXAA is supposed to have the blur to it, somewhat of a blur to it, but I think the developers again had fucked up and I think it's in reverse. Um, FXAA is the more of a cleaner one, it shows more detail in a way, like you'll see it in the trees, the backgrounds, such like that. SMAA is going to have a little bit of a blur, which is totally not the case. Just look it up online, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, anyways. HDR. Now I have it on very low. This one you do gain about three to four frames on it. There's big ass bright ass light right there. Um, there's really no benefit in having it on low. Um, so I left it on very low because I gained a little bit of frames. And this game right now, either way, I mean, you're walking in the daytime. Um, there's really not that much lighting that you know HDR would benefit from. And ambient occlusion and post processing quality. Post process quality is still broken. I highly recommend disabling it because you're going to gain a lot of frames. Uh, the depth of field of blur. Depth of field blur. But, anyways, um, yeah, just disable it because you're going you're gonna to get a lot of frames. Both of these, when they're on, trust me, it's not good. They're. they're when you put ambient occlusion on, it's going to eat a lot of your frames. When you put post-process quality on, it's not going to eat any more frames than what ambient occlusion already did. So if you take a 20 frame hit, you put post-processing on, it's not going to do nothing. But if you put post-processing on, it's going to take a 20 hit and you try to put ambient occlusion on, it's not going to do anything. So I think there's a bug in there. Um, does it seem like it's letting you turn them on really. Uh, MB occlusion really is not really that good in this game regardless. Um, go watch Mafia 2 and that will show you what MB occlusion can really do. Now other than that, that is my video you guys and I'm coming to the 20 minute mark and I know, I know I just kept talking and just been going over this but either way this is what I recommend and what you guys I think 
should be running um, test it out let me know what you guys think of it um, see if it, this doesn't improve your frame rate um, going back to this you can disable this it's going to give you some frames um, as you can see it gave me about three frames right there you don't really see any difference uh, except for right here you got to kind of really really look at it but you're not really going to see it but me I could totally see it um, I lied I lied there's some parts. There's some parts we'll see it. Anyways, um, it's just an OCD thing, man, right there. That's this is not necessary at all, really. So disable that. Anyway, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys like this video. And I do apologize if you guys seen, if you guys were bored out or you know whatever but you know it's getting kind of late i'm getting tired now and i hope to you guys i hope to bring you guys another video soon thanks for watching you guys peace out and take it easy